Hi YouTube, um, <clears throat> naturally still about my new sensor board and I have only one SD card header, one SD card jacket and this is the one I used. Problem is I had to adapt the layout because as I already said problem with this stuff is that every SD card has a different footprint and I print, uh, and to verify the footprint I printed this out one to one size I mean I printed it out the way I would print it out yeah, not quite but the way I would print it out to, uh, to make one uh, a film oh this is the zoom isn't it okay uh, this is the socket and this is the footprint I adapted for this so you take it and you put it onto the footprint see then you check out whether the pads are all in the right place so they can be soldered which they are you know problem is I, I didn't even have a data sheet for this socket I realized I had this for years and I had to make it and uh, what I did was the classical way I just I took <laughs> took the socket and then I measured out uh, the dimensions and from that I was was building or modifying that is the library library component for Eagle and I am afraid that this is a common problem and if you have to rebuild the card you would either have to do the same or you will have to solder the card onto this pins directly with wire or some trick I'm afraid because um, there are just too many footprints for SD card sockets around and there's no standard and there's no no single supplier that that has the one ultimate socket that is available. You know, point is, I tried to look up a uh, order this thing in order to get a data sheet, and they don't even deliver this special model anymore. And that's the problem. No matter what socket I, I I use, it is not likely that you will be able to get the same socket. Yeah, that's a problem. That's what I hate about SD cards. At least this time I didn't make the mistake of uh, using a micro SD card because those uh, uh, micro SD card uh, sockets are just impossible to boot to handle. Okay, see you soon.